That's it. Hey, Norm. Well, anything happened this week that was exciting for you? Uh, I changed phones. Really? I was forced to ditch my iPhone and now use this Windows 7 phone. I put his iPhone in a lockbox. Windows Phone 7, apps of the week. Right now, let's do it. Okay, so this is uh, the, the mobile Flickr app. It's not an official Flickr app. It looks like it was created by some random developer, but it's pretty good. Uh, one of the things that I find interesting here is they're using those same kind of metro-y circle buttons down at the bottom. Unfortunately, this is where they break down. By using letters, I can guess that these may mean like users and reload and friends and search, but I don't know until I pull up the, the ellipses menu. So this is recent, actually, I guess right on the other side. But you can go in here, you can see your friends, you can see stuff that you've favorited. Uh, it loads pretty quickly. I mean, I, I was pleasantly surprised by how this works. Uh, it's not as good for browsing other people's photos, uh, unless they're your friends. And I don't know if you're like me, but not all of my friends are friends of mine on Flickr. What I really was hoping this would do was give was replace the photo app that comes with uh, Windows Phone 7 and feed kind of interesting information into the home screen that way, like cool pictures and stuff like that. It works okay. I think it was 99 cents or free or something like that. It's not terribly expensive. Worth exploring with if, you, if you're a Flickr user. Let's check out YouTube, Norma. I want to watch videos. I like Search Corgi. Damn it. That, that was a big reveal. It was going to be a Corgi video. The YouTube app seems to be a web front end for, uh, well, the website YouTube. That's not an app at all. It, it, it's a, that's what Steve Jobs called an app. In the beginning, you were all pro web apps then. So the famous, that Corgi flop video is totally surpassing Chloe's video. God damn it. Those little dots that shoot across the screen mean it is loading. You'll see a lot of that. But, you know, that's the way kind of phones work. So. It's upside like down now. I don't know. I'm going to right side it up. God damn it. Google it. Okay, anyway. You get all the normal controls. You still can't click to fast forward, but you can fast forward this way. I mean, it's reasonably good. It's a YouTube. Basically, it's a front end for YouTube. It's fine. Uh, nothing terribly exciting there. And one more app I want to show is the IMDb app. I love IMDb. I don't like their redesign. You know, we have a site but, that does the same thing as IMDb. Well, similar. Uh, but this is an what? app that's what? actually quite unique. So you do have your standard uh, movies and theaters, TV, celebrity Blu-ray, um, but also it gives you recommendations. For example, I like Inception. I'm going to go to the Inception landing page. It's loading. So I have some movie reviews, show times in my area. If I slide over, mm. I get top build cast. I go mm. all cast. And I could spend hours on this if I want to. Hey, I like Ellen Page. I'll click she her played Kitty Pride. In, in, that uh, she did. Men, you know. And then I can click her photos. This is getting a little creepy, Norm. Pull, pull it back I'm out. Saying. Go over to DiCaprio. <laughs> God, that's a lot of photos. It's very neat. Uh, I like else? the interface. It's using the Metro style yet again. Can you use um, this to solve arguments with people in bars about movies? Absolutely. I like that. That's a valid use. And if you hit the search button, does it search inside the app? No. Okay, <sighs> it takes me back to Bing. Games. This Tetris? is the meat of the story. You like, I like games. games. Tetris. I love Tetris. What, what are we, 1980? Dude, Tetris seven? is awesome. I, don't you talk shit about Tetris or I will beat you. All right. All right, all right. Load Tetris is owned by the Tetris Folding Company, Tetris logo, and other things are all rights reserved. This is an oh, EA game. Tetraminos are in the logo. They're in the logo. Uh, I'm just going to start. I'm, this is the trial. I haven't bought this. I'm going to get that out up front. Basically, this is Tetris. It's exactly like what you expect when you play Tetris. Start, go. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go complicated. 11. Complicated. <laughs> play. Play the game. All you have to do is tap with rage, and basically, eventually, they'll start the game. Feature in the platform. Okay. So the way... I was, oh, wow, these are going fast. Oh, God. Go away. So it's Tetris. Square. You tap to rotate. Oh, Line. T. <laughs> Norman, you're not helping. L. I apologize. I Reverse apologize for L. the PU comment. L. I made horrible mistakes. All right, this isn't that fun. No, it's not fun at all. It doesn't work with touch. It's too fast a game for touch. So as soon as you get to hard levels, basically you implode because. All right, quit. Show me another game. Yes, sir. Okay, next game is awesome. This is Rocket Riot. Jeff recommended this to me. I heard Jeff knows something about video games. Uh, this game is a destructible environment game, and it's like a side scroller, kind of two stick shootery thing. It actually works surprisingly well on the phone. Oh, that is crazy loud. Has good music. 
and it makes modem noises, so I like that too. Tape cassette modem noises. Oh, I lost my save game when I nuked the oh, phone. Oh, it's 3D and 8-bit. It's, it's everything I love. But you look, you can blow up the universe and the world. Go away. And the song is amazing. Stop giving me instructions, you bastard. I'm gonna kill that guy. Whoa, I can't kill him. Maybe he's my friend. More writing, less rocketing. Oh wait, there's the, oh here we go. Oh yeah, riot. Into the gray zone. This is my personal favorite. Okay, go away. Here's a dude I have to kill. He's dead. This is the tutorial level. It's a little easy. Let's play again for just one more level. Uh, basically, like it gets completely bananas. There's a bunch of pirate ships and stuff like that you have to play through. It is a it is a surprisingly fun game for a phone and achievements and, and terrible exclusive to Windows Phone Seven. Oh really? I didn't know that. Isn't it on uh, Xbox Live as well? Maybe. So like they're using the traditional Microsoft definition of exclusive, where they mean Xbox and something else. Okay, so here I've got to kill like six six pirates. There's a bunch of different levels. They all have different goals. My left thumb is controlling movement. The right one is controlling aim and arc. Oops. I blew the shit out of that wall. I mean, the music is awesome and terrible all at the same time. And really, like, walls are no problem. You just fly through obstacles. There's treasure chests. You this get reminds me so much of Minecraft with action. Yeah, th this is what I kind of imagined a Minecraft game would be like. These guys are all flat though. Okay, you'd like to see one more? Are you sure, can you handle one more? Yes. Glow Artisan. This is a crazy artsy fartsy game. Unfortunately, when I nuked my phone, I lost all my save games. So we're gonna have to start the tutorial level again. I'm just gonna play. So the basic gist of this is you have to paint colors onto the thing. Colors combine, you can remove colors sometimes. There's a bunch of different ways to do this. Go away. No. Where am I supposed to go? Okay. You, so you make lines, basically. That's the, I'm doing the wrong column. Okay, next. There we go. I made a line. Uh, it gets really complex. There's a, when you get into the higher levels, there are tons of colors. Uh, tons of combinations and the patterns are really kind of scary and confusing. It's a puzzly game though, so uh, you know, no huge surprises there. This one is pretty straightforward. Look, I'm gonna leave a space. But it's in not a race. Yellow one. Not a time game. Uh, they get the, the difficulty ramps up really quickly. This is just teaching you the basic mechanics of the game. Uh, this is this is where things start to get a little crazy. Is the color is mixed. Red plus Red blue plus is blue. purple. Yes, yes, indeed. Anna demands more puzzles. <laughs> Okay, so this one's a hard one, right? Uh, or harder. I mean, if you have a good understanding of color theory, it may be a little bit easier for you. There's theory to color? Indeed I thought it was is. science. It's all theory. Everything's, there's no such thing as science. It's all theories. It's theories all the way down. Uh, and you judge by the number of moves you make. So, uh, for example, I'm gonna do some yellows here. And I'm gonna do some reds here. Feeling pretty good about this. Did I fuck something up? Oh, I have too many rows. Go back a row. Ooh. I gotta go all the way back to the beginning. Damn it. I didn't, damn it. See, it's a hard game. Windows Phone 7. Most, many, 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 many of the essential apps you would need on your smartphone. No Pandora, no Kindle so far. Netflix Twitter is here, is okay. but it didn't work for us. We couldn't get it to work. Connection problems. Literally five minutes before we started the video, but we'll include it in a future roundup. We'll talk about it next time. Um, how are you feeling about Windows Phone 7? I mean, pretty good? I'm I can do most of the things I need. More games. You, more you games. want more achievements. I want more achievements. You want more achievements. Free achievements. Yeah. Go. Well,